Vancouver's public transit isn't just a way of getting around. It's the backbone of the city. With over 1.2 million daily boardings across all of its systems, public transit helps connect people every day with their commutes. Today, I'll be taking you on a journey through Vancouver's transit system and sharing what works and what doesn't. First up, the SkyTrain. The SkyTrain is the fastest way to get around the city and one of the longest automated driverless systems in the world. The large network of rails spans 80 kilometers and connects major hubs like downtown, Burnaby, and Surrey, all while traveling at an average speed of 45 kilometers an hour when you include stopping time. It manages over 430,000 boardings every day and keeps the city moving around day and night. But with the SkyTrain's huge popularity comes extreme crowding. During its busiest times at stations like Commercial Broadway and Metrotown, massive crowds of commuters rush to get in and out of the packed train. Finding a seat is nearly impossible during these busy times, and standing shoulder to shoulder with other commuters becomes the norm. While the speed of the SkyTrain is unbeatable, the overcrowding can be a real downside for many riders. Now that I've discussed the SkyTrain, let's move on to Vancouver's most popular mode of public transit, its buses. Vancouver's buses are extremely popular among locals and tourists, handling over 750,000 boardings every day. They are essential for people who rely on public transportation to reach areas the SkyTrain isn't able to cover. Because they aren't on set rails, they can take you much deeper into the city's neighborhoods, connecting residents to schools, parks, local businesses, and more. And despite being slower than SkyTrains due to the traffic on the roads and sometimes passing up stops when they get full, buses are much more flexible in their routes. Whether traveling to schools like UBC or SFU, or just exploring residential areas, buses are a reliable option for getting around places the SkyTrain simply cannot reach. Arguably the best thing about Vancouver's transit system is its price. For just $2.60 with a tap of a compass card, you get a one-zone trip using a bus, SkyTrain, or C-Bus, making it affordable for people like me who don't have a car and can't afford to take an Uber to school every day. And with the UPass, students get unlimited rides as part of their tuition fee, which is why transit is so popular among students. Additionally, transit users save on average about $8,000 on car-related expenses such as fuel, maintenance, licensing, and insurance by using a monthly pass instead of taking a car. Another great thing about transit is the positive impact it has on the environment. Transit's electric SkyTrains and buses have helped customers collectively save an estimated 500,000 tons of greenhouse gases per year by not driving a car. Transit also produces only 1% of emissions while providing 12% of trips in Metro Vancouver. So not only is transit cost effective, it's also helping Vancouver lead the way in sustainability. But despite all the good, Vancouver's transit system does face its challenges. One of the main issues is overcrowding. From 2022 to 2023, there has been a 20% increase in ridership across all of the transit systems, which is especially noticeable on busy routes and during rush hour. This can lead to pass-ups, where buses are too full to let more passengers on, which can be very frustrating for people left waiting at busy stations and making transit less reliable overall. And while infrastructure like more SkyTrain stops and additional buses are being updated, the growth in ridership is simply outpacing these improvements. With more investment needed to support the growing demand, the city is working to strike a balance between expansion and reliability. While Vancouver's transit system has its challenges, it remains a crucial part of city life. Whether you're commuting to work, school, or just exploring this beautiful city, it connects communities, saves you money, and reduces environmental impact. I hope this video inspired you to think about the transit system in a new light and its impact on the city. Thank you for watching.